You're listening to a Lost in the Groove segment. Having good vibes with your bones and joints. Taking a trip into the groove. American groove. American groove. Into Star Wars. Gonna pop. We're recording and I talk about your goddamn therapist already i don't know you said she's a lesbian or something oh stop it i did, make it. I did not say that <laughs> oh my god did you kn- <gasps> no oh, she's oh, my, my, my therapist I'm, or I'm, I'm probably thinking because like i think i'm going to a gay therapist and my mind is just like all oh, therapists are gay <laughs> oh no to you i don't know it's not anyways all you, therapists are gay how about <laughs> Gay therapist rule. Sorry. <laughs> and I said a bunch of things about her. All I said was like, I, you know. So this podcast? Oh my God. What if she looked up my podcast? Oh my know. God. Who cares? Okay, but anyway, I get to the juicy bit. I not about her. Oh my God. Okay, I, uh, who cares? Enough of the, yeah. Yes, about your new therapist. I want to hear I yes. was sitting there and the therapist asked, it was my first appointment, you know, and so it's like you're trying to get to know each other and. Uh, she's just trying to like feel me out, like get an idea of like and not be embarrassed you know, at all, you know, like not do anything. You're like, <sighs> I don't know, but she asked yeah. me what my hobbies are, and I was like, oh shit, like I'm gonna sound like a really bad loser, like if I don't like come up with some stuff to say. You get to you know, be like on the spot, almost like I was on a date or something. I don't know oh if anybody God. else feels that way when they go to a meet a date therapist. with your therapist. Okay, no, but it was just like I felt like, oh God, like you know, I mean, oh shit, I gotta come up with something because it, it's like you know what people ask you what you do, you know, like when you're for your hobbies or whatever. And it's like, uh, you know, you don't want to just say like, well, I watch TV I, and uh, that, you know, that's a hobby. OK, well, whatever. I, I was like, oh, that can I, be a hobby. I like list off a couple things. I was like, well, you know, I make candles, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I like to walk my dog, like hang out with my dog. Yeah, hang I, have out a po- with- I have a podcast. And she was like, <laughs> oh, oh. Like, I was like, yeah. yeah <laughs> like, I was rock like, on, bitches. I was like, I do things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, huh? Yeah, like, I don't just, like, I don't just go to the gym, y'all. Like, I do shit, okay? Like, I do podcasting. I work out. I wonder if pod. she, like, wrote that down, like, doesn't work out, you know? Yeah, like, in, like, big capital letters with, like, an underline. Two, yeah. two, two underlines, maybe three. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm also frisky. like sitting there, like thinking, you know, like, well, I can't tell her that I smoke weed, you know, like she asked me what I do for fun. I'm like, well, I just get blazed, like, you know, but like, I'm blazed like, oh, to the sun. Just, no, you can't. That. No, no. Like, it's like, so that I still had to, like, you know, and it's like funny because, like, yeah, I, I usually do get kind of blazed during the podcast too, but like, you know, that's the thing is like, you don't have to, like, tell all the details like it's not like when you say like i sleep at night i sleep in pajamas with like you know specific type of sheets it's just i sleep you know or a picture of your ex-lover you know Ooh, no pictures of your (laughs) ex-lover fuck i hate running across those you know what's really funny a long like a long time ago i was on like facebook and there's like you know like oh my god you're still on facebook how old are you i said it was a long time ago there's like this picture, you know how like everybody's aunt will like post a picture of like Jesus and Jesus is like looking down on everybody or something. Well, like all that? Of my aunts are Jewish, but I, I, I. But I'm saying like aunts post a lot of like Christian religious aunts, yes. stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's always mm-hmm. Karen like posting like pictures of like Jesus and. You and don't want things. to admit that it's your aunt, but yeah. I don't know. I don't have a aunt Karen, but. Somebody's Aunt Karen posted a picture of Jesus and <laughs> looked exactly like my ex. And I was like, ah! Like, you know, like I was like, whoa! <laughs> and it, it is really weird. Like, it's like strangely <laughs> like him. Like, not not like I'm kind of like, you know, making it up. No, I was like, whoa! Like, there, there's like uncanny <laughs> like things that are like <clears throat> insanely similar. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> your ex kind of reminded me of like a, a character that would have been like in a western. Okay? Like, he'd be like one of those like 
dirty like cowboys in rural so Texas. Bad. Yeah. No, it's really gross. Yeah, no, it's disgusting. This is my town and I rule. <laughs> you want a duel when the sun like, rises? Doesn't wash his like trousers for like months, years, years, decades. <laughs> Just like loses everything he has in a card game. Oh my god! They didn't have cars back then, honey. They had fucking horses. Anyways, you know, like, yeah, like your I Mustang said card game loses everything oh, card- he has in a card game. Oh shit! In a fucking you know, like, poker, play poker yeah. in the saloon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that weird guy that has like the puffy sleeves, which is usually like the the dealer. You know, back in the day, and it has like the clear it plastic hat. Really shabby drinker for being like that that type of like westerner. Like I feel like they can always like shoot a bunch of whiskey and stuff. He couldn't hold his liquor at all. The reason I bring this up is cuz like literally he doesn't remind me of a Jesus-esque type character. That's like what I'm getting at like that is just like so out of it the blue. It was a really it's- grungy looking Jesus, you know? Like it was like a Jesus that had maybe done meth is kind of what it looked like to me. Like, maybe, Damn. maybe meth. Like, I'm not really sure. Meth? Not- you sure not no. crack? I wish you sure not I crack? had it to, like, maybe show cocaine. you. But I kind of avoid, like, seeing it. <laughs> but I went through my phone, like, a couple days ago and found, like, all the best memes that I have had, like, over, like, decades. Yeah, and- uh, side note, Carissa's actually saved, like, the ultimate memes of all time. And... There are hey. some that are so Ooh. fucking funny. Am- amazing. Like, amazing. Absolutely. Oh. I like the ones that are like, you don't laugh, you just go. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's just like, oh my God. Like, I am dead inside. <laughs> I don't know. Too much. Too no, much. No, it's like, I'll read one and I'm like, <clears throat> Oh, God, that's a good joke. Like, where I don't even laugh. Like, it's just like, ooh. Like, it's like it felt good instead of, like, a laugh. Like, it was like, Mm -hmm. oh, Oh, God, that felt good inside. Oh, yeah, definitely felt good inside, especially when it came out. Hey! So, I don't know. I was just, like, scanning through, like, everything, and I collected, like, all my memes. And as I was going through, I realized that I had screenshotted the Jesus that looked like my ex. The thought of a grungy Jesus, especially with meth, just, like, reminds me of, like, an old-timey, like, punk concert. You know, like, back in New York, like, you know, back in the 80s, right? And just, like, that grunge Jesus, like, just turning, like, the water into wine in, like, the fucking CBGB, you know, whatever the fuck shit. And you're just like, whoa, Jesus fucking turned the water into wine! And then, like, there's, like, that one, like, fucking bully in the back that's like, I don't want wine, I want beer. Because we're in America. And so Americans like, drink beer. If he didn't change, if he, if that isn't real, then, like, how did all the wine, like, appear? Like, where did it all come from? Honey, that is one miracle I <laughs> hold true that is genuine to the fact because listen all right water to wine let, let me tell you something water to wine that is that is the ultimate miracle okay i love wine i will no, drink right, that right. shit until the day i die with my charcuterie board let me i can <sighs> see jesus becoming very 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 popular like you know yeah. what i mean like oh, holy oh, yeah. crap he'd be like the next that. elton john you know but I don't know about gay because you know <laughs> Jesus is like all the genders. Can but you see this meme? When you sneak off to smoke the devil's lettuce and they find they find you in the trees because you're smoking the devil the devil's lettuce. Can you tell that it's Leonardo DiCaprio? It's oh my Leonardo god, that is DiCaprio. hilarious! Yeah, that was in that movie that he played. Um, I think a, a mentally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some type of I don't know if there was an actual diagnosis for that character, but there was something, something going on there. I what is that called? Uh, the movie? Do you remember? Oh my god, let me go on. Let me go on the Google. No, I, I just okay. When you find out what it is, don't tell me yet. Okay. Okay. And then like slowly give me hints. Because I could like almost remember what it's called. It came out 
when I was alive, which I don't think you can say. Like, I feel like I was like freaking like six years old when that like Leonardo DiCaprio movie came out. Um... And all I remember is that his mom in the movie was like 400 pounds. And she, uh, I remember like I'd never seen a person like that. And I saw him in the movie and I was like, oh my God, mom. I was like, what is going on here? And she was like, well, she's going to die soon because she's so big. And I was like, well, why doesn't she stop? Okay. I'll give you a hint. So you found it? Yes. Are you happy about it? Yes, very. Look, there's other memes with the same character. Me watching other companies. Wait, pull the screen up a little more. Give out holiday. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. That is that is dirty to the core. Like, let me tell you, like, that is that's bad. OK, so in the cast of this movie was Johnny Depp. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot he was the brother. Do you want any more? It's hints? like some like weird like name of okay. like a plant or a flower fruit. or a city. A fruit. A fruit. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like a plant. I said a plant, a fruit. Mm-hmm. Okay, so like it's something we talked about with Jesus turning water in no way into wine. Oh, 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 something about grapes. Yes. Okay. Shit, I can't believe you gave me grapes and I still can't remember the the name of it. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> what happens when? No, I can't do it because. Okay, that's... just tell me the freaking name. What's eating Gilbert Grape? Oh, what's eating Gilbert Grape? Oh my gosh! But you got a grape, so that's like one out yeah, of four. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. but it is quite long. So like, I'm We're all about the artist. That is the whole purpose of this podcast. Period, and. You have a really valuable tool. You can share this with artists, people that are creative, someone that can uh, enjoy this podcast and really enjoy the experience of Lost in the Groove. So with that, let's jump back to today's episode, shall we? Not that shocked that I forgot it, but like, yeah, What's Eating Gilbert Grape was a movie that I feel like a lot of people weren't ready for when it came out. Like it was like 1993 really really like heavy and dramatic and like people weren't used to like that type of thing like going out to the movies on a friday night and it was like pumped out like mainstream like all the other stuff at that time and i feel like maybe like there was like this movement of kind of like trying to make like movies that were like a little bit more like had a little bit more like drama you know because they like wanted more money or like more reaction than like the regular stuff that was out I don't know, but I just remember like it got very, very mixed reviews because it was like a movie that would like make people like really uncomfortable or like make people cry or like it was like stuff that like you wouldn't want to think about. Like you don't want to think about somebody's mom like dying and like how hard that is and like everybody's upset and like shit. No, and especially like with mental illness, that's something that is sometimes very hard for people to swallow. Thinking about this with um what's eating gilbert grape this reminds me of with mary tyler moore and i actually just googled this when she did ordinary people so yeah like somebody does like a really dramatic movie yeah that maybe movie they came- made the maybe it was all about like johnny depp and his career like they wanted to give him something like really heavy and dramatic you know it's interesting because like if that was the early 90s that was when he was like in his drug era like that was the drug era of johnny depp or it was like right before it right before it yeah i'm not i'm not like a super like johnny depp fan so i'm not like a hundred percent literate on every single aspect and angle but getting back to like ordinary people do you know that not long after the filming of ordinary people is when mary tyler moore's I believe um, son committed suicide. Wow, that's terrible. It's terrible. And it's like interesting because like she did a film that was kind of around like, I don't remember ordinary people completely. Like I do remember like there was some kind of suicide or death that happened. I haven't seen any of that stuff. You're the Mary Tyler Moore fan. I am the Leonardo DiCaprio fan. 
No, I, I actually despise Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh my god! <gasps> dun, dun, I hate him. Dun. I I think he's disgusting as wow. a human being. Oh my yeah. god! And Damn. if if he was, if he, was if he wanted to be on, on the podcast. I, my initial reaction is I wouldn't even interview him even if he wanted to be on it. And then I'm like, wait a second. Actually, it'd be kind of interesting to pick the brain of the person that I think is completely disgusting. Like, I feel like it, I wouldn't actually turn it down. But I I hate him enough to think about being like, go away. He's disgusting. <gasps> I found it. I found it. Crack Jesus that looks like my ex. Okay, I'm going to send it to you. Oh, my God. I, oh, my God. I looked for the longest time. It is so me, weird. You're going to see it and you're going to be like, oh, my God. It What it is is it's a picture of Jesus smoking a cigarette. And it looks so much like my ex smoking. Oh, my Did God. It, it does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like I saw it. It was like, ah. This is yeah, bad. Like, this is bad. Okay. Whoever made this. All right. We got questions for this person. Look at it. Like, does it yes, kind of like freak with the you cigarette? Out a like, like was... it's like first of all, Jesus would not have a cigarette. It would be a marijuana joint. Okay, again, <laughs> is it'd it a joint or a cigarette or ganja or some fucking shit? Like Jesus smokes weed, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Yeah, it's between yes. the two joint. fingers. Not it's the... a joint, not a fucking cigarette. Come on, get your history right about <laughs> Jesus. Okay, makes wine and he smokes weed. Very simple. Clear to pasture, ready to rise from above. Rise from above. My mom had this story about this woman that, like, her husband was a pastor and she was, like, really, really, really busy. And um, all, like, these other people from a different church came into town to, like, visit her church and she was supposed to like host all of them and like have dinner and they were also stay at her house or whatever. And she like got home and she was so completely exhausted that she just like passed out on the couch. Jesus. And like four hours later when she woke up, she was like, oh no, what am I going to do? I didn't clean the house. I didn't make any food. I didn't get anything ready. All I did was sleep. And she woke up and she looked around and everything was just like perfect. And, like, everything had been cleaned, and there was, like, a full meal prepared, and the woman claims that it was an angel. Wow. Can and the I, angels uh, came, the... and they cleaned her house. Okay, I want the can number for those. Can I get the those... number of this? Place? Please? I was yes. just thinking, can Jesus just leave some wine in my house? Like, Okay, just a few barrels, all right? I will just, just a few barrels. cases of water, okay? Like, okay, yeah. Just the big Kirkland, you know, Costco water bottles. You know what I mean? Like, that's all I'm asking. Like a whole Just case. Four like, yeah, a whole case. Two you cases. Know how two much cases. nicer life would be with just like a couple cases of wine, like every once oh, in a while. Oh like, my God. It's just like, it's like, like, it would make having a charcuterie board and yet still in poverty so much better. Yeah. And people just. My, I had also learned that, like, Water at that time wasn't always clean enough to drink. No. So there's also some like symbolic stuff or not symbolic, but like I did, just like a significance to changing the water into wine that we might not have thought about where people were just like excited that there was something like clean that they could drink. Which, like, God knows why. the Maybe something about the way that it's, like, fermented or something, like, makes it clean enough to drink or I don't really well, know. Yeah, it has to do – my dad explained this to me. It's because of the modernization of fil filtration systems where they're able to remove – got to check that picture. It is – she's right now literally on my leg, like, flat Aww. all the way. Talking about Twix, a.k.a. the producer Twixie. of Lost in the Groove and American Groove. And uh, she's being a potato, an actual potato. She's so cute. I love her, like, short, like, soft hair. Like, how it's, like, bushy. Oh, she's my little butch. My little Look butch. at this. Mm. I got their peanut butter cups. Ooh. 
But they're not yeah. Reese's peanut butter cups. No, this is called Unreal. I don't know, but they're dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Oh. And they're like non GMO okay. and like all, all right. fancy. Like dark chocolate uh, is fair another trade level. certified. And I guess they're vegan, which like, how did they make that dark chocolate like that vegan? I mean, they are mm. just damn good. And Hey, it's Dave, and I quickly just wanted to jump in and say, if you've been enjoying the podcast, I'm enjoying this episode, if you can leave us a review on Apple Podcasts, that will be so greatly appreciated. Because here's the thing, someone might read that review and make the choice if they want to listen to the podcast. You get to help grow this podcast with us. How fucking cool is that? Let's jump back to today's episode. Like, the sugar's just like a natural, like, organic cane sugar. They use like a palm oil, peanut flour. I it's just like I'm like what? Like I know they are so tasty. Like I have eaten like a trillion of them. The only thing is that they're significantly smaller than a Reese's peanut butter cup, but well, they still get five out of five stars, dude. Even if they're little. All right, so you got to check them out. Check out the Unreal Reese's. Catch Reese's peanut butter cups. I told you about the thing that I do where I get like food where I used to. Um, and then I just did it this month. I get like food delivered. There's this like food delivery place called like Imperfect Produce, but they also do like Misfit Market. And so there's like this like online website where basically it's kind of like overstock or things that like for food there was there was like a misprint or you know or they just like are trying to get their name out and so they like mark stuff off or like it's really interesting like you can just get all these different products that are kind of just like at a lower price and i mean you could never get a low price on like a bunch of like vegan like all natural stuff so it's kind of neat and then you can get like all your produce mailed to you too. The thing is, they'll, they'll charge you seven bucks for shipping. But if you order $75 worth of groceries, which is a lot of stuff with them, it'll, it'll ship to you for free. So you can just get all that food to your house. All that of this way. wonderful wisdom just goes to show that with the insane prices at the grocery store, there's still a way to get some awesome food. At a really, really good price. I mean, we're totally not sponsored by them, but like, this is definitely a solution, right? I was just really, I've been really busy. And like, the way they have it set up, it'll mail it to you once a week. And I was like, no, like, but I do need snacky stuff like once a month, you know, like that I, and I mean, they'll kind of narrow stuff down and then I'll pick AKA from it. Munchies. Yeah, I do. I need uh, munchies. And I kind of like, for me, like, I want to chow on, like, some serious, like, sugar and, like, some chocolate and, like, some shit. That, like, I want, like, sweet yumminess. And, like, it's good to be eating something that's a little bit on the healthier side if I'm going to be just, like... Because, like I said, I finished the whole freaking bag, like, you know? So I was like, oh, I will eat I think- the whole pint. You remember how we did the last episode with the cheesecake? Just going to throw this out there. Every it, episode ends with me talking about food now. <laughs> I, it's sorry. just, it, no, it's you just throw what out there. <laughs> no, I'm throw it out there. Like, does anybody, because I'm very familiar with like Reese's peanut butter cups are my favorite. Yeah. But are there other versions of peanut butter cups that we're not familiar with? Like, for example, now I'm introduced to Unreal, which I haven't tried and I will definitely try it to see how it tastes. But. What is the ultimate peanut butter cup? There's like a couple other brands too that I've seen. Like there's the that one brand that makes all the almond butter ones. I can't remember the name of them. Almond butter? You mean Kind Bars? No, 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 no. There's there's one, and then there's another brand that's doing like a peanut butter cup, but it's with like a sunflower peanut butter. So you can get like the peanut butter cups, but with almond butter. <clears throat> it's funny because we've talked about peanut butter before, and let me say this again. We are peanut butter maniacs, okay? Peanut butter the world, 
chocolate my soul because that is all I need to oh, survive. Oh, it's it's Justin's. You've seen them. Yeah, the weird the yeah, yeah but I, I like those. I like them too, but they're in plastic. What the the package? Yeah. I when I buy peanut butter, I buy it in glass jars because they last a lot longer. Oh no, but I'm saying they make peanut butter cups. They do? Where? Yeah. Like I'm like, how do I send my, this? My to mind you? is like, I, first of all, I'm high as fuck. But my mind is just like, because all I've known is Reese's peanut butter. Like, you have to understand, like, all I have known my whole life is Reese's peanut butter cups. And now it's like, and that sounds like fucking stupid, but like, I never thought there was anything else besides that, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll send you the link and you'll be like, oh, I've seen that before. Oh my god, look at that link. It's like huge. You see that? Oh, yeah, like there's paragraphs in this link. Like if this would be an essay, I would believe it. Oh god, thanks for copy paste. <laughs> 219. Uh, wow, 1.4 ounces. I don't know what the fuck that means. Wow, dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's Ooh. up is like I don't know that I've ever really found the Reese's peanut butter cups in the dark chocolate. I don't think they make them in dark chocolate. I think it's only milk chocolate. I Yeah. Or I, and that's why like these other brands like they'll they'll do the dark chocolate and I'm like freaking out. I know cuz you, you like I've dark. gone to like a chocolate store too and they <clears> like <throat> make like a peanut butter cup, you know? Never tried to make my own peanut butter cups. I wouldn't recommend it. You know what? Be bougie and go out and and, and buy your own to be honest, it's like I've made fudge, but I've never like tried to just like make chocolate, you know? Yeah. <gasps> Wait, there is. Hold on. There is. There is a dark Reese's chocolate peanut butter cups. They do exist. You can buy them on Hershey uh, dot com. They are available. Oh, so they're a Hershey thing. eh? Yeah. Well, yeah. Reese's is part of Hershey. It's the same company. So when you go to Hersheyville, is it like Ooh. they have peanut and, butter cups there? Oh my too? god, I gotta send this to you. There's an organic dark chocolate peanut butter cups that are Reese's and they're available on Amazon. <gasps> okay. Do you really right. only like peanut butter that comes out of a glass jar? Yeah. Is so that you don't weird? eat Skippy? I used to. Come on. Come I used on. to love that Skippy like nutty. Look how small that link is, okay, compared to the one that you sent me. Like that the one you sent me was paragraphs. I like the crunchy, you know, like the stuff that's like super chunky, like peanut butter. Like it's just like, oh my God. And when I was a kid, like no, but like now. Ugh. I also love it when the peanut butter is like so like naturally made that like you almost gotta like mix it up because it like separated, you know? Ugh. Okay. Uh. I'm sending you also the link to this one. I still remember one time I went to Humboldt, California, and I went into this like little local grocery store that was just like so quaint and cute and like in this little like mountain town. And they had this local peanut butter. And like I bought that little jar of local peanut butter and I would like mm -hmm. mix it up with my knife before I made my peanut butter sandwiches for like my hikes. And I that peanut butter was to die for. It was so chunky and real. Ugh. The like love. Some hippie made that freaking peanut butter. I, I know. I know. I like, like. I. There is a. <laughs> there is something. Uh, okay. Preserves. Mm. I love preserves, specifically when yeah, it's done. Yeah, that's art too. Oh my god, that gelat like natural gelatinous, fruity flavor. I don't fucking care that there's three th three pounds of sugar in there. Who cares? What I care about is that preserves on a PB and J. And you know what's crazy? Actually, I found out that in the UK they are not familiar with PB and J. They that don't is put, weird. Yes, they so, don't even know about it. No, they know about it. So, but I they don't do it. No, I told Paul today. I'm like, dude, you have to try it. Like, this will change your life for the better. This is how you make your life better. Is you discover PB and J. 
It's okay. It's just like Whoa, after, what do you mean it's okay? Hold on. Hold the brakes. I just sticks all over my mouth and then I have to like <laughs> drink so much to like wash it down. Yeah. It's it's good, but it's like It's an I experience. Can't, I can't eat it with a dry mouth. Um I feel like yes. my parents made PB and J a lot. I feel like you gotta like change it up. Like you can't always use the same jelly. You know, like unless you like love it that way, but I got a different one this time. I cannot believe that Reese's makes organic dark chocolate peanut know, butter cups. I know, right? But Where? they're five thirty one, which means they're more expensive oh, than the fuck Justin that. ones. I know. It's a lot. Oh my god, are they even that are they even good? And uh, wait, how many are they sending you? I think it's just two. Three seventy for it's two? A- Ye- no, this is just for one. One is five thirty-one. But there's two cups inside of there, right? Yeah, so you get two. So they're like two dollars a piece. Look at this. Ooh, down here, you can get like six of them for six dollars. So that's like fifty cents a cup. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> okay, well. It has been fun to talk about peanut butter and Jesus and Jesus looking like our ex. But I, uh, it, I, just, I have, it went there. It, it, it definitely just like it goes up the butt. You know, you don't expect it. But once it's there, you're like, OK, Whoa. well, it's intense. So, OK. You know what to do to find American Groove? Go on Instagram. An American Groove pod, and we actually do have a playlist on our YouTube channel for American Groove if you want to check out all of the videos and shorts. And uh, if you want to check out more of the podcast, uh, you can find us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube at Lost in the Groove Pod. So, with that, with that, what do we do? What do we do? We tell these cocksuckers we're leaving. Peace, motherfucker. Peace, motherfuckers. <laughs> Jesus fucking...